Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another episode. So, uh, we're in the process of actually evolving most of my armies to kind of like the final composition that I want to have for them. I'll be sure to actually showcase those. Uh, this, for instance, it has a C. That name has a C, it means completed, so I'm not going to change that army composition any further. Uh, Carl Friends and Geld are already on the same uh, aspect, but Reserve on Blonde, I want a different army. I'll be sure to showcase it maybe either on this episode or next or even on the la the next one over that. Uh, it will depend. So, over now we have some uh, issues. Of course, we're fighting on a couple of fronts. Uh, Gotrek, I believe, can finish off Skaven Blight still, but I want him to capture a little bit more here and to just replenish these troops. And we're very close to the long campaign victory. All that I need is a couple more uh, settlements, so it should be fairly easy to achieve. And then I'll recruit some more heroes, taking advantage of that uh, bonus. So yeah, let's go for it. So we discovered a undercity in Magrita. Let's take care of it. Yeah, let's go. It was quite developed, actually. So, go track. I, I could advance over to Skaven Blight, but I, I'm not sure what it is over there. And this army is quite depleted. I still have some turns. And I'll always replace it. It's It's fine. So I'll just move over here where I can actually be replenishing and then go over and conquer that place, Nuja. Yeah, it's fine, I'm still replenishing, that's the, the best part. And overall I'm moving my troops over here so that I can recruit all over Altdorf. And overall, yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, Norska extra declared war, so I'm at war with Throg right now. So I'm just going to send Rupert here to dominate the sea and try to cause a foothold. And while we're going to have a fight against this gentleman, doesn't have a name actually. And I think he's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of doggos and I have enough units to deal with those dogs, so... Should be fairly easy without taking too many casualties. Yep, yeah, that's the important part as well. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it doesn't have it doesn't have anything really there. Yeah, it doesn't have a name. You see, that's what I was uh, I was thinking. Oh, it gives me very poor odds, so better to fight it out. Let's go. And we begin this fight with some halberdiers, some spears here. That's the uh, letter count unit, of course. Then we have some swords, some better swordsmen. This is the ROR unit, if I'm not mistaken. Ulrichs. Of course, lots of huntsmen, and you can hear both uh, the all the three mortars firing. Lots of uh, uh, missile troops, and includes the cavalry, the outriders here. So the enemy has a couple of flanks with hounds and some furies. And then lots of marauders. Yeah, here they are. Shielded ones, so my missiles are not going to do too much to them. Yep, yeah, turned marauders into the sunset, like T Turin likes to say. And then some demonettes, a great and clean one, which is going to be the target of my huntsmen. Which is perfect. And he still has some aspiring champions as you can see here. So the battle plan, pretty straightforward. Of course I'll have a, a good line with some staggered formations, especially in terms of the archers and huntsmen that I want to have, and the, the mortars there. And the Reichsguard here, the outriders over there. Of course I'll just ensure that I'm not flanked, you know. Um, and even two units of this can handle two units of dogs, so, and there's some halberds and spears to cover. So most of the action will be having to fight the great and clean one and the front line. Let's fight it out. Yep, yeah, the archer fire and of course the mortar fire is doing their job. 
And I'm sending my uh, wizard to this side, my celestial wizard, just to see. I don't believe I can cast the bombardment spells here, but I, I have some blast and some wind blasts here. It should cause at least the AI to, to try an assault, which is good. Seems they're going for it. Yeah, against spears, nah, these guys are not gonna do it. And I'm just charging my troops. Always try to get the charge bonus at least. It helps, especially even with these uh, low quality troops. It's so much better. And of course, I'm targeting anything that doesn't have shields, if I can. And here comes the spell. <laughs> Yeah, the chain lightning. Let's do it. And here's a charge of my Reichsgard. It should be enough to deal with those uh, doggos, especially with some archer support and uh, halberds in case anything happens, which are standing by. So, yeah. Yeah, should be a good outcome here. Yeah, they're surrounding my uh, my unit, but I mean, without armor piercing, they're not going to do too much. And as you can see, you know, my unit was completely full almost, and theirs wasn't. This great and clean one is already being targeted by my multiple huntsmen. Here he comes. Don't worry, Spears. You can do it. I think. Yeah, it's just the foot. Don't worry. And he's already halfway, so yeah, th this should be fairly easy, actually. In the meantime, the aspiring champions are the ones who are going to cause more damage here. But overall, it should be fairly easy. My mortars are getting redirected just to fire upon anything that they can do damage to. And these halberds, they're fighting on their element, you know, against some large targets. And they can do a lot of damage to these uh, plague bearers, so it's quite fine. My Reichsgard comes in. You shouldn't charge over to uh, over the woods, but it works <laughs> in this case to crumble them down. And victory is ours. And that was a good victory. Got some armor and stuff, but as you can see, even these lower quality units, they can survive really well and assist in these small sweeping style armies. So, the White Wolf Packmaster is attacking Rupert Hertwig here, and it has the settlement garrison, so yeah, it should be, should be easy. Actually, I'm attacking them, but, you know, they're going to attack me because I have the artillery. <laughs> and I also have the Hawkland Runefang. Typically, I use it against uh, any enemy lords and stuff, so yeah, let's go. Let's fight it. So, my Debegriffs are over here. And I have my rocket launchers already firing. Of course, great swords covering everyone. With the heroes, basically, I like to have like two hero, one hero accompanying every two infantry units, which is good, especially in the beginning, just so they they can buff them. They can either destroy whatever or assist in destroying whatever is hitting them. So yeah, it's cool. And still more griffins. So more demigriffs here. They will control the flanks. Yeah, this army is quite powerful. Uh, even though it doesn't have any handgunners or any missile infantry, it's really powerful. Of course, it's very stationary, but that's how it works. The enemy has tons of units, actually, but lots of uh, poor quality units, marauders, 
into the sunset. Some missile marauders, which I'm hitting with my Hellfire rockets. And yes, some quality troops here and there, you know, with some marauder champions. So I gotta be careful when they engage, and berserkers, of course. Yep, yeah. and yet more cavalry on this flank. So overall, a nice army, but it cannot put a dent on my army, that's for sure. So the battle plan just to form up a staggered line and of course you can see that the heroes are just divided there. Then I have cavalry on both flanks, still engage, and I have my artillery here well poised to attack. And yeah, it's gonna. I'm gonna focus the fire on the uh, front line and of course my cavalry can deal with the flanks and just cover up everything in the front. I always love hearing this sound when I'm attacking, of course. <laughs> Lots of misses, you know, hitting on the forest. So I gotta be careful, that's why I deployed it this way. So that I could have a couple of nice shots. I'm, for the most part, I'm trying to hit the missile units. Or honestly, anything that I can, really. <laughs> you can see the effect on just a couple of volleys. I think this has been like two volleys and there's already like four units halfway. Maybe five units here and there. And that includes some quality troops as well. So. Yeah, that's good. The charge from my demigriffs on this flank. It's three units of demis on each side, so yeah, he's not gonna survive this easily. And I have my fire wizard nearby. I think I was just shooting a fireball or something like that just to cause them some harm and maybe cause them to engage my demis. Yeah, here come the trolls. Sure, they are hitting great swords, but these great swords, they have the flaming sword of ruin. So look at that weapon strength and melee defense; it's good. And here comes the flaming head. There goes the burning head. That's nice. Gives them th something to think about. And overall, great swords can deal with anything really once they are slightly, um, slightly damaged. So it's kind of fine. At the same time, my warrior priest is trying to smash the enemy lord here, but the whole army is getting surrounded by my demigriffs, so it should take no longer than a couple of seconds for all of them to start routing. And yeah, that should be victory. Alright, so I'm gonna occupy this settlement, and that is going to be interesting because that ensures that I get the long victory, if not mistaken. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna get the Skaven one, the end is nigh. Okay, so 10 turns before the Skaven show up. That's nice, that's, that's a good end game, I like it. Uh, I don't know much about it, I think I faced it once. But yeah, it's kind of an interesting one. Have 10 turns to, to do for it. Long victory complete. So it's turn 91, it could have been like turn 80 easily. But yeah, uh, this way you get to see a little bit more. So... Because I, I wanted to ally with Nordland instead of conquering them, you know, I, I could have done that. You know. uh, so I had to take the steps to, to get them back to fealty. Uh, but overall, it's it's a nice victory still here. I'll proceed, I'll continue to defeat the endgame, and I'll continue as well to um, to do the uh, 
domination victory as well. So yeah, I still have plenty to do and yeah, let's go for it. So overall, uh, I'm going to dominate over on that area and Kislev is doing well dominate, taking care of the dwarves, the case dwarves, which is good. Magnus Kisterman and Theoric, uh, Theo, Theodoric Gausser are going to have uh, their own armies very soon. Or their full armies very soon. Okay. It's not going to be this one. I'm going to give him a great sword and, and rifleman. I'll show it, in, uh, I guess, in the next uh, episode. Okay. And I think I need a new lord. Yeah, I have some electric counts here. I want a new lord specifically to have the um, these units that I don't really need so that I can overwhelm some some places, you know. And likely there's going to be, you know, I don't want to have to disband units one when there's going to be a, an end game spawning very soon. So I'll just give them everything, yeah. I'll give him everything. All that I want is the artillery. He's going to have a lot of different units, including hand gunners and great swords. So yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, that's the idea. Should I give uh, give him hand gunners here, or should I recruit him on the elsewhere? Well, he's already recruiting here, and. Yeah, I need to put the recruitment cost to local capacity here. Oh, no, that was that was sad, actually. Okay, this is a, a hero. You see the difference uh, by putting him as Magnus support. I know that he's meant to come here. You know, even if I would forget, like it's good, especially if you if you play sporadically. You know, do that because it's so much better for you to. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, you were doing this. You know, so much better for it. You know. And Gotrek is nearly full. He's going to go and probably conquer Skaven Blight in a couple of turns. In the meantime, Balthazar Geld. I don't know if I should move him there because of Throg. So I think I'll wait and see if he sallies out. I think that's the better way. Yeah, I think it's good to get either Grey Knights or great uh, or get uh, Hippogriffs or even get some Royal Pegasus Knights. What should I get? This, these guys are, are magical attacks and... Uh, hmm. So magical attacks, anti-large, armor piercing, what do I want? The Akshina ambushes have been nerfed, so they're no longer a surefire thing. Uh... I could get some dwarven troll hammer torpedoes. That would be nice. That would be interesting. Should I? Well, I don't have enough to get two units, but I almost have two uh, enough to get to the flame ones. Hmm. And the organ guns are quite nice. So are the flame cannons. I, I like the the discouraged effect. I could have an army that deals with that. You know. I think I'm just going to go for the Royal Hippogriffs. They they just combine so well with the army, with the armies of the Empire, you know. So yeah, just kind of having a couple as soon as I can. Run, uh, it's going to develop enough. So yeah, it's going to be going to be fine. And I'll ha I have the time to to wait a little bit for some more points. Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to also showcase how I'm thinking sometimes these situations. And I'm building up mostly in terms of income, in terms of uh, uh, defense, in terms of the the skills. It's always the, the red line skills that influence the army, which I already predi predisposed, you know, I already planned it out. Um, yeah, the Cascading Fire Cloak, I think it's a good one, yeah. yeah I think it's cool. I like to use it. I like the buffs, the the buffs and debuffs, because many times all that I want from the magic is to ensure that my troops survive. You know, I'm not as focused on doing damage as as I used to be, because that that implies that you play out a different way. You know, that you play towards hitting them. Oh, that is nice. Let's go. Let's see what is happening there. Okay, so Marathi is dominating, and Slanesh is still alive, amazingly. 
Uh, e attain. They, they kind of need all the allies that they can get. They're still surviving and they're, they're, they'll die slowly, that's for sure. And Legion of Case has 20 settlements, but look at that strength rank 20. <laughs> They're not going to cause me too much trouble. So reaching the end here, I'm really happy with this long victory so far, but I'll continue. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and for supporting the campaign, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.